for spring and garden planning and we love to put some greenery in the house and everyone always asks us questions about these bottle plants that we have all over the house when we started doing them it was just to add some greenery because we weren't here that often when we were in the city and it was easy maintenance you can do a lot of different kind of plants uh, in a bottle so Avocado is kind of like the classic elementary school project, but they works really well in here because it keeps the pit dry. Most herbs do really well. Mint, rosemary, basil, umbrella plants, or classic office plants, pathos. Um, anything that's viney does really, really well um, in these uh, plates or just in a bottle. And this time of year, uh, early, early spring, late winter, any bulbs like narcissist, also known as paper whites, do really well in um, so water. Fragrant. And uh, succulents, a lot of people are surprised that they do well. Uh, you can keep them in here as long as the base is wet and the top is dry. And you can also start cuttings in here that you eventually put into soil. You know, the maintenance is really easy. Every couple of months we just clean out the glass container or just empty out about half of the water and refill it with new water. One thing that inspired us from doing these bottle plants was creating these little plant plates that are made from clay. Um, we work with our potter who made them for us for our home collection and they're really great because we designed them um, to actually hold um, a bulb or paper white or herbs or any kind of house plant um, and they just sit on a standardized glass container like a cocktail glass or a juice glass or even a mason jar. And the great thing about their design is although most of these plants are very easy to grow, the one problem is that the top gets moist and it'll start to rot or mold. So these plates prevent the avocado pit for example or the bulbs, even your herbs getting too wet above and uh, rotting away. So the design makes this even more easy. So this is just another great way to add some greenery and life into your house and looking forward to springtime and garden planning. We'll see you soon. Happy planning. See you in spring. Bye guys. Bye.